respect their teachers, parents, and my dear friends. A very warm good morning to all of you. I am Ines of Class Six. There was a man who loved animals. There was a man who loved birds. There was a man who developed the theory of evolution. There was a man who wrote the origin of species. Can you guess? Yes, I'm talking about the great biologist, naturalist, as well as geologist Charles Robert Darwin. Darwin was born into a wealthy family in 12th February 1809. His father wanted him to become a doctor or a priest. But at university, Charles was much more keen on the world outside. At just 22, Darwin set off on a round-the-world voyage, which took him to South America, Australasia, and Africa. Darwin didn't come home for five years, and the things which he experienced in his voyage influenced him for the rest of his life. He ventured into dense rainforests, climbed mountains in Andes, and explored the Galapagos Islands, observing and collecting plants, animals, and fossils along the way. When he eventually arrived back in England, Darwin began working with other scientists on the findings from his voyage. He published his diaries of the trip in 1839 and became one of the leading lights of the London Scientific Society. Darwin's health got worse around this time and he suffered from illness for the rest of his life. But his personal life wasn't all that bad. In 1838, Charles married his cousin Emma. The couple started a family and in 1842, they moved to Down House in Kent. The gardens at Down House were the site of many experiments. Charles carried on publishing respected books and articles on everything, but behind closed doors, he was also working on theories that would rock Victorian society. Eventually, in 1859, he published his famous book, on the origin of species by the means of natural selection. It caused a lot of controversy, but gained lots of support too. Darwin's health was getting worse, so he stayed out of the public eye, but his friends and allies defended his work. Many new editions came out, and the book was published throughout the world. For the rest of his life, Darwin carried on working and writing at Down House. He published more books and carried out more experiments with plants and animals. All of his work was designed to test his grand theory of natural selection. He died in April 1882 and was buried in Westminster Abbey as a national hero. His theory has been scrutinized and developed but his ideas and life's work still form the basis of how we understand the development of natural world today.